on everybody welcome to my new video today i have a really interesting topic because a lot of your walmarts and targets and stuff in their fitness aisle they look like this so it's important that we still work out and that we have a easy outlet to work out at a little more than body weight because sometimes body weight's a little too easy for us which is where our resistance bands come in you really only need one but there's two types you know a longer one that's skinnier and might have a little more of a resistance to it and then a thicker one that is very small very small that we normally put around our ankles or our knees so I'm gonna use these I've compiled a list of 13 different exercises that you can use just with resistance bands before I start showing you guys some of these exercises I have a small announcement I'm gonna up my videos from one a week to two a week get you guys a little more content I'm starting this small little mini series uh, it's called home workout essentials so it's gonna give you guys a little more information on how, what you can do to successfully build muscle during your home workouts during this quarantine uh, so go ahead and hit that notification button and uh, you'll never miss one of my videos all right like I said we have 12 or 13 exercises in total that I have that I've created a list that we can use these resistance bands for they're super easy you can make everything at home and kind of like make shift with what you have to make them worth your while first one we have a very simple squat so with our with our longer resistance band we're going to step on it like so bring it over on like a bar would be on our back right and it's just kind of like you know some suspenders ow <laughs> Um, I, so I like to hold it just like that so it doesn't run on my neck. And we're just squat, squatting up and down. So our next exercise, super simple. Yes, I still have our Christmas tree up. Me and my roommates are super lazy. Um, it's a Romanian deadlift. And I'm really gonna show you guys one-legged because you know body weight stuff is a little too easy for that. And even with the band, it's too easy. So I'm gonna show you guys one-legged with the band. On this, we bend over, keeping our back a little straight. Try to just feel that stretch in our hamstrings. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna initiate our hamstrings, our glutes, and our lower back. So our first two back exercises, we're gonna need a door or something that's high up that we can kind of droop our resistance band around. So I have a door here. So we grab like this. We're gonna squat down a little. You can sit, it doesn't matter. We're gonna keep our chest as close to that door as possible. And we're gonna do lat pull downs. Now it's really important on these lat pull downs that you know, we don't just pull straight down. We also want to pull out. So when we're grabbing, right, we're not pulling down. That's like a cro close grip lat pull down. But what most of us do is wide grip. So why change at home, right? So we're going to pull, right? But we're going to pull out. All right, for the second one, it's a cable pullover. If you don't know what a cable pullover is, it's super, super simple. We're pulling the cable over. It origin originates from a dumbbell pullover because we're laying down. We're pulling a dumbbell over. So for that one, Instead of having both the loops on the door, we take one off, right? And we're doing that, just that, cable pull. So third for our back, we're doing rows. I demonstrated on a couch in a couple videos ago, in my other home workout tips video, how to do it with a couch. But really, you just need to put that resistance band against your feet. We're focusing on just moving our elbows back and engaging our back instead of using our arms and our biceps to pull. All right, the main focus for our chest exercises would be our chest press and our chest fly. So I'm gonna show you guys both of those really quickly. So on the chest press, we're taking it, putting around our back, you know, we're putting it around our arms like so, and we're pushing out, just like that. On this one, it's really about mind-muscle connection and going nice and slow and feeling that muscle work. Chest flies are roughly the same exact thing, but instead of leaving our elbows bent, we're pressing, having a pressing motion while standing, we're bringing them in. Our shoulders all have the same motion as well while we're stepping on the band. And we're doing front side raises and shoulder presses. So on our shoulder presses, we're just bringing it right here, like right in front of us. And exactly what we're gonna do with a barbell, but we're doing it with the resistance band. We're gonna go nice and slow, control it. We want those muscle contractions. Front raises have the same exact stance, but instead of bringing it over our head, we're bringing it out in front of us. For side raises, I like to step through the hoop and grab like that. We can 
can also do upright rows and they're really, really simple. Same as all the other shoulder exercises we're standing on the band. But instead of bringing this one over our head, we're bringing it up, throwing it straight up. We always want that arm pump, right? Same setup for our bicep curls as the shoulder exercises. So we step on it, and we grab it, and we pull it up. Bicep extensions, we're stepping on it again, bringing it over our head, and we're bringing it behind us. We could also do tricep push downs. It's just gonna involve going back to that door and setting it back up like we were doing the cable pull over. So one big loop, right? And then we're just doing a normal rope tricep push down just with a resistance band instead. If you're feeling a little adventurous, try this one out. We put it on a doorknob, right? And we're gonna take it, we're gonna stand straight and we're pressing. Instead of just doing a normal on the ground glute bridge for an extra activation in our glutes, we're using our other resistance band. So we're gonna put that one around our knees and bada bing, bada boom. So I know I just threw a lot of information in your guys' way. So I'm gonna write a, I wrote a little workout. Um, put it on the screen right here. To give you guys, you know, these all these exercises in action to show you guys that you don't actually have to do them all every day. So I hope you guys really liked this video. I hope you guys give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please hit that notification button because two videos a week are coming real soon, AKA this week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Start my mini series.